In this episode, I'll talk about selective focus and how you can use it to tell stronger stories. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Wallace. I'm here in a very, very busy street in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, what we call Saigon. And this is just one of many streets like this. And you know what I could do as a photographer is get my wide angle lens, jump out into the street and take a picture of this street. And you can see this picture I took and it really doesn't tell a story. As photographers, we're visual storytellers. And so instead of trying to tell all of the story all at once, there's a better solution. And that is to go and look for very specific stories along this street. And I can do that using something called selective focus. Now we've learned all about depth of field and really what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use a longer lens, I'm gonna open my aperture as wide as possible and then get my depth of field really shallow and then I'm just gonna look for little stories along the way. Maybe it's a, a person sitting on a bench or maybe some food that's interesting, I don't know. But join me as I walk this street and I find little snippets of stories and tell them using selective focus. So let's get going. Well, here in this very busy street, I'm also looking not just to sell single stories, but I'm looking for interesting stories to tell. I'm looking for patterns and color. And so these uh, lanterns right here have nice pattern. I can fill the frame with those, let them fall out of focus. And then we have these nice colors, the orange and the blue really complement each other. So I'm not just looking for single stories, but I'm looking for color and pattern and shape and texture and all of the things that you would normally shoot in a photo. And of course, I'm a portrait photographer, so I'm also looking for people to shoot. So we're gonna keep zipping along and see what we find in this very busy street. Selective focus is more than just opening up your aperture to get a shallow depth of field. What you're trying to do is to look and tell stories that are small parts of a larger story. So we're looking at something that could be as simple as a scratch on a motorcycle or a stool somebody's using to sit on or a pot somebody's cooking in. Now you can apply this to your photography. I'm sure you're not shooting in a busy street in Saigon necessarily, but when you're out shooting maybe an event or a wedding or a birthday party, you can get the entire shot of, hey, here's all the kids at the birthday table, but then get the little details, the candles on the cake, blowing out the candles, that first present that's opening, the look on a little kid's face, all the small details that add to that larger story. So when I say selective focus, it's more than just opening up your aperture and getting a shallow depth of field. It's looking for the details that tell a story better. So let's continue on our quest to tell a better story of the busy streets of Saigon. Well, the next time you find yourself in a really busy scenario like a crazy street in a city or maybe something that's more realistic like you're shooting at a wedding or a birthday party or an event, instead of trying to shoot everything that's happening all at once, look for specific smaller stories and tell those using selective focus. Open your aperture as wide as it'll go, get close, that is getting you a really nice shallow depth of field and then you can show the little things that are happening in that scene and that'll make a more meaningful story and you can put that together if you need to with the overall story. So selective focus is something that you might want to try the next time you're out shooting an event or a birthday party or if you're just traveling, it works really well. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Exploring Photography. Don't forget to check out the Adorama Learning Center. There are a lot of tutorials there. They're absolutely free and also don't forget to subscribe 
subscribe. You can do that. Just click the button right now. It's absolutely free, and you won't miss a single episode. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you again next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.